How to buy a domain name on Namecheap. Good day, folks, and welcome to the channel. If you're looking for a domain name, it's a great way to buy one and a cost-effective way with a whole bunch of added extras on Namecheap. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how you can actually find a domain name for yourself. And then I'm going to show you all the added extras that Namecheap offers when you go ahead and you purchase a domain name from them. So without further ado, let's get straight in. The first thing you want to do is from this home page over here, you can see that there is your domains, hosting, WordPress, email, marketing tool, security. There's a option for you to transfer a domain name from another host to Namecheap. There's a help center and then everything you need to know about your account. Right on the left hand side, there's the domains. We're going to tap on that. Now on this page, you will see that uh, they are running some specials. So there is a .com special over here you can now see that it is a bit cheaper than what it normally is and then there's a dot net and a dot org that these are all on special currently so how do we choose a domain name so first of all let us go in at the search bar over here you can now type in what you would like your website domain name to be so let us go in and say dog food boss and we're going to hit search now when you're going in and hitting search, you're searching just for that specific domain name over here. So you can see over here, it's bringing you up a bunch of options. So there is a dogfoodboss.com. You can now save with that special that we saw on the first page. And as you go down, you can see that there are different extensions with every address over here. So you can actually choose the correct one. If you want to find out more about some of them, there are actually um, a little info tab on the side. So you can go ahead and you can read a little bit more about them. And you know, getting the right domain name for you is actually very important. But let's say we want to explore more than one domain name at a time. Let us just copy this and we're going to now go into beast mode now i'm sure you saw on the previous page there was a beast mode as well so if you're typing in your domain name or your desired domain name and you tap on beast mode this is what happens you can actually search more than one domain name at a time so in the top over here it says enter up to 5,000 domains or keywords to get started so we can go ahead and we can enter in some more so there's dog food boss there is boss dog food we can search that one we can enter that in there we can also search um, if we want to do like boss cat food we can enter that in and we can go dog boss cat food it really doesn't matter so you can enter up to 5,000 characters and what will happen is you can now search among all of this at once without having to go individually search one domain name at a time you can also now enter some filters in over here you can have a price range you can have a transform so either it's a domain hack um, a drop down vowel or a pluralized noun so you can see over here it offers you some examples and then you can choose which that you would like to use and then some extra options here it says show premiums so premium domains are usually high quality keywords but come with a higher price tag and uh, you can either have that on or off and then the prefix and the suffix you can have that on as well on the right hand side over here you can see you can search all of these fields so depending on sort of what field this fits in you can go ahead and search the field and then right down here at the bottom you can see here there is a generate name over here we're going to tap on the generate now you can see down over here there are some results you can see you can also change the default sort list and uh, you can export all of this data as well just by hitting that export key over there you can then also add all to cart but right now we're going to leave that we can go down and have a look at some of the results so instead of, as I said before, just one keyword, we can go ahead now and we can have a look at a few keywords at a time. So there's quite a bit of options. You can go ahead and you can now choose the domain name according to what your needs are. If you want multiple, you can just tap on the add to cart and appropriately there are some pricing guides next to that so that's what it's actually going to cost once we have sort of chosen what we want so just for example this dog food boss dot academy we're going to go add to cart and at the bottom you'll see that there is now a check out banner at the bottom so this is what happens next before we actually go and purchase this domain 
there are a bunch of add-ons that we can have over here. So we have such things as web hosting, WordPress hosting, VPN, social media manager, with the appropriate pricing next to that. And these are all per month. You also have business email, the SSL, the premium DNS, and the site lock website protector. So anything over here that you would like to add on to your domain name, you can go ahead and you can just click on the add to cart button. You can see over here that the social media manager, you get a free trial over here. And if you want to learn anything more about any one of these items, you can go ahead onto the info button and you can read a little bit more about it if you're unfamiliar. The business email also allows you to have a custom domain, which is brilliant. If you have a business, you'd like to personalize that email address. You can also get a free trial when you jump in and purchase this domain name. We can go down now to the checkout and we can tap on that. You can see over here now you have your bulk settings. So we're going to just leave that as is. You can auto renew. You can have domain privacy and then your premium DNS. You can just choose if it's enabled or or disabled over there. The next thing is the cart. You can either save these items or you can clear them altogether. And then your domain registration over here, you can actually change the period of time that you purchase this domain name for. So you can go all the way up to 10 years and appropriately that cost will change. But for now, we're gonna just leave it on one year. And over here, you can select either to have it auto renewed after this period or not. And then you can see over here what the price is. You also get 55% off on your first year. And over here, you can see all of the other add-ons that you have selected when making the purchase. So there's the domain privacy. We're enabling that and we can auto renew it and it's free forever. So why would you not have it auto renewed and enabled? Then all of the other options, you can choose whether to enable and auto renew them or not. And if you go down over here, there are those additional options. Again, if you've missed anything, you can go ahead and you can just tap on the add to cart button next to the appropriate product. Now you can see that your subtotal is $14.66. If you have a promo code, it's a good idea to enter that promo code in now. And then you can tap on confirm order. The account contact information is the first page that you met with. You've got your first name, last name, company name, and your job title. And then you need to enter in your address over here, as well as your country, phone number, fax number, email address, and then you're going to hit continue. You can now start putting in your contact information over here. So the registrant contact, as well as the administrative contact, technical the billing contacts if you are on behalf of an organization you can have to now enter in the appropriate details so the administrative contact the technical as well as the billing but if you are the person purchasing the name cheap domain for yourself you're going to go ahead and just use default account contact and that is all of your own personal information and then we're going to go ahead and hit continue the next page that is brought up now, you get to enter in your billing information. So you have options. You have the secure card payment. You can now enter your card details, such as the name on the card, the card number, and your billing address. And then you have some other options. You have the account funds, and that is if you have entered in or uploaded funds into your name cheap account and then you also have the paypal account so if you choose the paypal account you're going to go ahead and you're going to enter in your payment details for your paypal account once we're done again your receipt details it'll be set as default if you would like to change that you can just go into that drop down menu and tap on add new contact we're going to go down now and there's some renewal settings that they have out here for you again you can just tap on and select the boxes of the items you want renewed you go ahead and tap on continue the next page you get to review your order over here you can see all of the details of your order including the subtotal and then you have your payment details over here you're going to go ahead and you're going to enter in your payment details in our next step um, it's just now confirming your payment details and then if you want to change anything here you can just go ahead and tap on the change button here and the edit cart button you can go ahead and you can see um, if there are any changes you can do so there you're going to go down now and the button at the bottom over here it says check out with paypal or your subtotal this box it says check out with PayPal. You can tap either one of those. If you'd like to select a different payment option, there is another button over there. And once you do so, you'll have to just confirm those payment details 
and you will be in the done page and there you go you are now the proud new owner of a domain name through namecheap i hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to drop us a like we'll see you in another awesome video cheers for now